Hello there. This is the Aptitude Guy. Welcome to another placement specific video on this channel. In this video, we are going to talk about the Deloitte placements specifically for the role of US Tax Consultant. If you haven't watched my videos of the details of the US Tax Consultant placement recruitment process, then definitely watch the videos that I have made earlier. I'll link them in the i button over here and also post them in the description below. Please watch those two videos and then watch the aptitude question series. I have also released a video just before this, which is part one of aptitude questions. This, as you can see, is part two and there will be another part after this. So without any further ado, let's get started. All right. Till question number nine we had done in the previous video. If you haven't watched that, definitely watch it. Right now, you can pause the video, try to solve this question and get back with the answer. All right, let's do it. So this is an analogy based question. So it says tragedy is to sadness as joke is to what? So what is the relationship over here? A tragedy causes sadness and a joke causes what? A joke, if it's a good one, causes laughter. So, of course, the answer is option C. Done. Very simple stuff. Let's move on to the next question. All right. Pause the video. Try to solve it and tell me the answer. Okay. Pretty simple again. Duck is to duckling. What is the relationship over here? A baby of a duck is called a duckling. A young duck is called a duckling. Similarly, a young sheep is called a lamb. That is the answer. Sometimes people will end up marking it as option A, but a kid is a baby goat and a lamb is a baby sheep. That is the difference. All right. If at all in the question over here, they had mentioned cow, then the answer would have been calf. And if at all the question over here was dog, answer would have been puppy and so on and so forth. You get the point. All right, let's move on to the next one. Pause the video. Think about the answer. Okay. Patient is to doctor. What is the relationship here? A patient has to go to the doctor to get fixed. Similarly, a car has to go to whom to get fixed? Of course, a mechanic. Don't even need to think too much about it. Very easy question. Let's move on to the next one. Try to solve it and then get back. Okay. Toffee is too sweet as fire is to what? Okay. Now, sweetness is a property of a toffee. Fire has two properties. One is that it is bright and the other is that it is hot. But which one is the correct answer over here? That is the doubt of a lot of people. Now, sweetness, when you feel the toffee, when you actually taste the toffee, that is when you feel the sweetness. Okay? And fire, when you feel the fire, does it feel bright or does it feel hot? It looks bright. Okay? It looks bright, but it doesn't feel bright. It feels hot. So the answer is option B, that is hot. This is one such question where there are two very nearby answers, but only one is the most appropriate answer. These are the type of questions which will make or break your candidature when it comes to Deloitte. Okay, be careful in such questions. Just because a few questions were very simple doesn't mean every single question will be very easy. All right, be careful. Next question. Pause the video, solve it and then come back. All right. Heavy rains is to floods. What's the relationship here? Heavy rains cause floods. So what does an earthquake cause? Earthquake means a lot of shaking. But what is the end result of an earthquake? The end result of an earthquake is destruction. That is what it is. So the answer is option C. Done. All right. So be very careful with such questions where there are multiple seemingly correct answers, but there has to be only one most appropriate answer. 
If you have any doubts in question number 13 and 14, definitely drop them in the comments. Let's move on to the next one. All right, finally, we are here with coding and decoding questions. If you want to learn more about coding and decoding, and if you have absolutely no idea about the basics of coding and decoding topic, I have created two videos on the same topic. I'll link them in the I button over here. Definitely watch them and then come back. But if you already are familiar with the topic, solve the question and then come back. Pause the video. All right, let's solve it. So the first thing we have to do is we have to figure out the logic using which this word got coded as this word. Let's try to figure it out. We have S P H E R E E R E H P S. So this is a clear case of reversing the word. Look at this S P H E R E. The entire word is simply reversed. So the same thing has to happen to exhibition. It ends with N, so it has to start with N. N O I. Let's first eliminate. I had told this in my coding and decoding video. Watch it first of all. That the best friend, your best friend when it comes to coding and decoding is elimination. Let's look at the options. It's to start with N O I. We have N O T wrong. N O I N O I N O I. Okay. It should end with uh, H X E. All right. H X. Okay. A, A is gone anyway. H W E gone h x e h x e so the answer is either option b or option d now in the middle we have t i b i we have t i d i gone t i b i option d is absolutely correct like i said your best friend when it comes to coding and decoding is definitely the elimination method so that it doesn't waste a lot of your time to look at every single option all the time got it any doubts over here first watch my coding and decoding video and second if you still have a doubt drop them in the comments let's move on to the next one another coding and decoding question pause the video try to solve it and then come back all right let's do it here also you would see that it's the same logic we have l a n g U A G E. Again, a reverse logic. Very simple. Let's try to eliminate the wrong options again. It will start with N O I. We have N O I, N O I, N O I, N O T, N I T. So definitely wrong. Option C is gone. Now the ending, it should end with G I M. G I M, G I M, G I M. Doesn't help us much. In the middle, we are supposed to have T A R because we are going in the opposite direction. So we have ATR gone, TRS gone, TAR absolutely correct. Answer is option B. Done. M I G R A T I O N migration, but opposite. That's it. Let's move on to the next one. All right. This is a different type of coding and decoding. All right. Let us try to solve it. First, pause the video, try to solve it, and then come back. All right, let's do it. Now, whenever they have given in the question that some word is coded as some number, and if the digits of the number is not equal to the number of letters of the word, most probably what is happening over here is, in the English alphabet, they are asking you, to check the order of these letters and then adding those orders. What I mean to say is this. In the English alphabet, we have A, B, C, D, E. That is nothing but 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So in that case, C is 3. A is 1. R is 18. E is 5. It's the fifth letter, 18th letter, first letter and third letter in the English alphabet. Alright, so E is 5 over here. Now, when we add all of this, 3 plus 1, 4. 4 plus 18, 22. 22 plus 5, 27. And of course, that is the code. Hence, proved that this is the logic behind this coding. Now, the same thing has to be applied to made. Okay. Now, what is M? M 
A is 13. What is A? A is the first letter. What is I? I is the ninth letter. And D is of course the fourth letter. That's it. All we have to do is add them. So we have 13 plus 1, 14. 14 plus 9, of course, 23. 23 plus 7, 23 plus 4, 27. What a coincidence. Here also it was 27. Here also it is 27. The answer is option C, that is 27. Done. So moral of the story, when a word is coded as a number of just two digits, the very good chance is that this is the logic. So whenever you find that there are coding and decoding questions, not just in Deloitte, but in any other aptitude test, one very good habit to do is whenever you have a rough page in front of you, write A to Z and 1 to 26 very quickly. That will help you solve a lot of coding and decoding questions faster. All right, that's it. Any doubts over here, definitely drop them in the comments. Let's move on to the next one. All right, again, we are back to the normal coding and decoding question. Pause the video, try to solve it and then get back. All right, let's do it. So we have gold is coded as I, Q, N, F. So wind will be coded as what? Now, what is the logic over here? Let's try to figure that out. Now, of course, in this question, the word is not getting reversed, obviously. So let's try the simplest route over here. G to I. What is the logic? G, H, I. So plus 2. O to Q. O, P, Q. Again, plus 2. L, M, N. Again, plus 2. D, E, F. Again, plus 2. So obviously here, the logic is plus 2. So let's apply the same thing over here. W plus 2. W, X, Y. Now your best friend is the elimination method. Let's check the options. D, gone. V, gone. X, gone. Y, yes. Do we even have to care about the other three letters? Absolutely not. With one letter itself, we are getting the answer. Do we care about the others? Absolutely not. That's it. We are done with this question. Any doubts? Definitely drop them in the comments. Let's move on to the next one. Which of the given words can be formed using the letters from the below given set? Here you don't have to use your brains at all. It's a simple case of trial and error. We simply have to check the options and check the letter list and see which one has all the letters. That's all. Pause the video, do it as fast as you can and then come back. All right, let's do it. So we have festive, let's see, F, uh, F, E, E, S, S, T, T, I, I, V, 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 not there. So option A is gone. All right, option B, R, R, O, O, B, B is also there. U, 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 not there. So option B is also gone. Option C, T is there, I is there, R is there, E is there, S is there, O is there, M is there, E is also there again. Yes, of course. So option C is definitely correct. Now, just because we are not in the exam, let's just try option D. P is there, R is there, O is there, U, 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 not there. So of course, option D is also wrong. But once you get the correct answer, please don't waste your time in verifying the other options as well. All right. So a clear cut example of trial and error question. Done. Let's move on to the next one. In which of the following words occurrence of constants, consonants, sorry, is the most? What are consonants? The letters which are not vowels, of course. That's it. So where do we have the maximum number of consonants? Pause the video, count. It is a little time taking, but you don't have to use your brains much. It's just boring. All right, let's do it. So what are the consonants here? One. 2, 3, 
four, five. All right. Here, one, two, three, four. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three. That's it. So the answer is of course football. That's it. That is all that you had to do. All right then. Let's move on to the next one. All right. Pause the video. Try to solve it, and then get back. Okay. Another very simple question. Which of the following words has its letters arranged in the alphabetical order? Now all we have to do is trial and error again. Let's see. F L I P. Okay. L comes after F. Yes, but I does not come after L. Right. That is why option A is definitely wrong. F L O P. Okay, L comes after F. Yes, O comes after L. P comes after O. Yes, L M N O P. So yes, option B is definitely correct. Just because we are jobless, let's try out the other options as well. O comes after D. Yes, but N does not come after O, because M N O P. O comes after N, not the other way around. So option C is also wrong. Now we have option D called mind. Let's see. uh does i come after m absolutely not so here itself it goes off option d is also wrong so of course the correct answer is option b that's it sometimes they ask such questions where you don't need to think a lot you simply need to do some boring tasks but very quickly because time is of the essence over here all right so these are the types of questions which you need to solve quickly before going on to the tougher questions All right. Since you have the freedom to go to and fro the sections in the Deloitte Aptitude Test, first solve these kind of questions where you don't need to think too much. Once you are done with such questions, then go to the questions where you need to think a little bit more. That's it. That was it for this part of the video. This was part two of three parts of the Aptitude Test series of Deloitte Placement Test. If at all you like this video, then definitely consider subscribing. If a few questions were helpful and you would like to revise, then like the video so that the video is saved in the liked videos section of your YouTube app. If you want to watch part one of the same series, it's right here. Part three of the same series is right here. And I'm telling you again, if you haven't watched. the deloitte uh, aptitude test or the online test series and the interview series definitely watch those videos they are very very helpful all right that's it from my side in this video i'll see you in the next one bye bye